All right, uh, we are gonna make Sloppy Joes, which is kind of a cross between uh, hamburger and, or hamburgers and spaghetti. But uh, I put a little bit of salt in the pan. And then I kind of break up the ground beef as I put it in. Um, it doesn't matter if it's still in chunks because it will break up as it cooks as you stir it. And then I even use my potato masher to make sure I get all the chunks broke up. But it actually comes apart and breaks up easier after it's cooked. So we'll cook this until it's almost brown and then add the onions and garlic. Okay, so the beef's starting to get a little brown on the outside. And I'm going to go ahead and add um, some of the stuff. This is the rest of the ingredients here. I'm going to go ahead and add my onion. And I like to add a little bit of jalapeno. I think it adds a nice flavor to it. Cool. I'm going to add that now so that it gets good and soft because I don't like crunchy bits of onion in mine. So I'm going to go ahead and let this cook with the ground beef. Okay, so the ground beef is all nice and brown. All the big chunks, try to get them all broken up. They'll still break up some more as it gets stirred and mixed around. So as you can see, the onions and the jalapeno are nice and soft and tender. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the garlic. So the garlic doesn't need to cook near as long. So just let it stir, cook in here with the beef for about a minute. Okay, so the garlic has had a chance to cook now. It doesn't take very long. So next we'll add the tomato paste. And some water and brown sugar and Worcestershire sauce. Okay, so now we just mix this all up. It takes a little bit of work to get the tomato paste dissolved in good. And it'll be pretty runny to begin with, but it cooks down. So Sloppy Joe is kind of a sweet spaghetti sauce. And like I said, a little bit of, I add a little bit of heat with the jalapeno. There we go, we've got it all incorporated. Um, simmer it for about 20 to 30 minutes and it will turn um, a bit of a darker red, but it'll maintain the shiny, shiny color, but it'll get thicker and darker and then it'll be ready to put on the rolls. Okay, so Franklin's gonna help me finish up dinner tonight. You wanna tell me what you're gonna do, Franklin? I'm gonna find us for dinner tonight. Okay, put him on in there. Woohoo! Good job. He's in his fancy schmancy apron that his sister made for him. Well, she did the iron on. We didn't make the apron. Okay, just that's all that fits. Alright, so what's gonna go in here? What are we having for dinner? Zombie Joe. Okay. All right, well, you keep an eye on those. Okay. Right to, go ahead. All the way under, there you go. Onto the plate, you can put it the other way. There we go. They're all nice and toasty. Ready for the sloppy joe mix. Woohoo, pretty. All right, go ahead and put two more in, Franklin. Whoa, 
for you, Isaac. Okay. And don't forget to don't forget to kind of scoot it around a little bit. Careful of the hot pan. There we go. Awesome. Okay. So the sauce is done. You can see it's a little bit deeper red, and now you know kind of sticks together, mounds up really nice. You don't want it runny or else it won't stay in the sandwich. So it's ready to put on the rolls.